everyone. I am just coming to give an update uh, for the last two days. So today is my VLCD number nine. And yes, I'm looking at my journal. <laughs> um, it's been a really good past two days. So the um, yesterday I woke up and had a 0.9 release, which was super exciting because I had been at a you know, two day stall and I'd actually um, had, you know, gone up a little bit um, like a few days before that too. Um, so yeah, so yesterday was a 0.9 release and I measured myself yesterday and I was so super excited because I've been thinking, you know, wow, I've really, you know, um, feel like at least that I really see a difference in, um, in, you know, my stomach area. And so I got really excited and the day before yesterday, I'd actually, you know, measured just like the upper part of my, um, abdomen. And it, <laughs> that day had said I'd released, uh, three and a half inches off of just my upper abdomen um however that was the day that i was doing you know i had that smooth move tea and you know um actually i you know went to the uh what do we want to call it now uh, i went to the hcg boutique goodwill hcg boutique and um had gone there and it was like in the afternoon and my daughter wanted to go look for something and I'm like sure we can go you know look around and you know see what's there and all of a sudden I mean that smooth move tea kicked in and I was like oh, oh I hate going to the bathroom um, anywhere outside of my own house um, especially if it's more than just you know your typical pee you know trip but um so yeah, I was in the bathroom for a little while and it was so embarrassing and luckily it's only like, you know, one person can go in at a time and, you know, I had some hand, you know, sanitizer, so I'm wiping it on my hands. I'm like waving it all over. I'm like, oh, I hope nobody knows, you know, what's been going on in here. So, um, so yeah, so that was our trip and um, that was the day that, you know, my stomach was down three and a half inches. So yesterday when I measured myself, I was super excited. I'm like, oh, it's going to be, you know, I'm going to have drop a whole bunch of inches. And uh, I, you know, didn't. It wasn't a super awesome thing. I had lost um, two and a half inches um, since, you know, I measured myself right after load days, um, both load days, so on my VLCD1. Um, so I'd only lost two and a half inches. And that basically was from my belly button up. So, Everything below that just stayed the same, and that kind of pisses me off because um, the place where I want to lose the most is in my calves. And I mean, if I had shorts on, I'd show you my calves, but I mean, they are huge. And you know, I you know, they're like 17 and a half inches, and um they've gone down i think i started when i started hcg they were at 18 and i was doing um you know some workout stuff and kind of hcg at the same time with a friend she wasn't doing hcg because she was already nice and beautifully thin and um we had decided oh let's measure you know ourselves so we can see you know how we're we're losing in measurement and um and that took a lot i mean that's a friend like i trusted her as a super great friend because you know she is you know really you know thin and here i'm at the weight that i'm at and we we're doing the measurement and i i almost had a cow right there because my calf was at like an 18. her thigh like the upper part of her thigh the baddest part of her thigh was just over 18. I'm like, 
I, I luckily I was in a good spot and I like you know love myself and it's like that's just not fair that is not fair that somebody's thigh is the same size as my calf now it used to be good when I was you know a lot thinner because um, I had some you know guys comment that they loved you know how I had a little bit meatier you know thighs um, not thighs but calf um, and that was kind of funny and I was like really but you know that was when they're thinner so I'm really hoping for my calves to get down and they're not moving at all and my thighs are taking a while and my arms are taking a while um, but I primarily you know I gain all this you know and then the abdomen and so luckily you know it is moving luckily it is going I'm gonna be thankful I'm gonna be grateful for that but I was kind of bummed that it wasn't more than two and a half um, so that was yesterday I did notice that my um, my hunger was definitely down uh, so the first week you know it wasn't as bad as last round my first round I was hungry pretty much all through the round like I would get you know growling hunger you know pains and that and was pretty hungry besides just the craving stuff and so that was one of the things I really wanted to be able to do was to you know find a way for for that to stop the hunger stuff and so um, when I added in when I realized that I hadn't been eating breakfast and that was something that I was doing different from round one and round two and I wasn't having anything in the morning um, and then yesterday I put in was it yesterday or two days ago I think it was two days ago I started putting in you know eating half of a grapefruit and that helps so much so I have a grapefruit around 8 o'clock and then my snack you know my grassini around 10 30 and then lunch sometime usually around 12 and then I'll have an apple in the afternoon before you know dinner like around 3 or something and so now I'm finding that I'm not getting hungry so I you know will maybe get to about a you know a two um, but I'm definitely not getting uh, or wait is it I really have to start I really have to read the hunger scale so <laughs> I just let me just cut that out if I could um, I just wasn't hungry which is nice so it was um, really cool to see that change then this morning I woke up to a 1.6 release um, so that's for um, VLCD 9 so that put me at a release for uh, just over the first week um, at 15.2 pounds so on day 9 I had lost a total of 15.2 pounds um, so that was super exciting I'm starting to feel um, cold again, um, which I'm thinking I heard somebody had mentioned um, that the coldness could be, you know, getting into ketosis. Um, so I'm definitely getting a little bit colder, but it's hard to tell because it's so rainy and gloomy here in Tacoma and, and Washington too. Um, and so, but I'm wearing my jacket, like everybody's like, why are you wearing your jacket in the house? Like in the morning time, they're not used to me doing that. I'm like, I'm so cold and, um, and I just feel really energized. So, uh, I kind of felt that yesterday and I noticed last round that every time I'd have this feeling, I'd have a really good release the next day. So, um, I, you know, I'm feeling that again today, just super energized. Um, no complaints there love that uh, what else oh and then today so with just you know having those releases and you know now being down to you know 30 231 um, oh gosh and I stepped on the scale again I, you know I'm addicted to the scale no so you know how normally when you you know you get up you weigh yourself and you know you you know, you're at your lowest that point and then it gradually goes up during the day um, and I can kind of tell in the evening time how I've done compared to you know what my weight was in the evening time the night before um, and usually it's about you know it's up 
three pounds from what I'll be in the you know the next morning. So anyway, so this morning I weighed myself and it was 231 point something, really small. And um, and then I got on the scale a little bit later and it was already down to 230. I'm like, what in the world? This this scale's broke. It's broke. Get me a new one. It's broke. It's got to be broke because there's something wrong. It's lying to me. It's playing head games with me. It's doing something. But my son stepped on it and he had went up you know, a few ounces from what he had weighed himself um, before. So I'm like, okay, if it goes up tomorrow morning, I, I'm going to, you know, just well, deal with it. It'll be fine. But it was just so exciting. So today, for some reason, I don't know, hitting 231 has just done something. It's like, it's just brought this... Um, like being able to dream about being thin again and I haven't been able to do that for so long um, and to be able to say you know I think I'm gonna do it I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it down to um, my goal weight now I'm not sure what my goal weight is and I think the reason why I'm not saying what my goal weight is is because there's always been that fear of failure that fear that I'm not going to make it, you know, something will happen and you won't be able to get it all off. But I think today was that start of, I, I'm believing I can do it and um, believing that I'll get there. So, you know, I went, I, I was looking for some better pictures, um, but I, this is one picture from before pregnancy all obviously but you know what's funny about this picture is I thought I was fat I remember and this was in Hawaii so I had a friend who took me to Hawaii and she told me you know well you should probably lose you know like five to ten pounds before you go um you know here's what I do you know like pretty much starve myself on this and I was working out like three hours a day, seven days a week. And, um, and I, you know, she told me to do, um, a colon cleanse, you know, <laughs> and basically an enema and just expel and get rid of everything. So, you know, guys, people say HCG is so unhealthy. This was unhealthy. You know, I, I was to the point where I was eating, um, maybe 10 grams of fat a day. And, um, I, I mean, I was eating such small amounts. I was like blacking out. Um, and so in that picture to just see that and say, gosh, I thought it was fat. I, and I'm like, you know what? I know that I'm overweight now, but I love myself so much more. And I am so happy with myself now and I am so excited to see what it's going to be like. I, I mean, even to be under 200 pounds is like, that's a dream. It's a, it's a dream. And it's like, and it's a dream that I finally know that I'm going to be able to accomplish and I'm going to get at. Um, so I'm not, you know, trying to put numbers out there of, you know, I want this round to be you know, under this weight or something. It's like, I'm just going to, you know, rejoice every day and choose every day to love myself um, and to be happy with where I'm at and who I am and um, to just look forward to anticipation of what I will be um, when I get to that weight. And it'll be that my inner beauty finally being able to come out and um, that, you know, it's it's complete it's me complete me not just me on the inside but it's me complete so that's just my thoughts of the day and how I've been doing so off to make my beefy tomato soup my favorite thing because it makes me so full and it's so yummy and warm so bye guys